be necessary to, to solve the problem in the next thing. So specific aims are done. We've gone through some strategies to do them. You want to go over them so that they're clear and brief and informative. And then make sure, don't make the, the mistake of not following the aims in the text. You definitely want to go through the same logic that you've used in this first page in the text. It, when you go to do the, the, uh, the strategy or the approach, if, it's, if you find that it's too hard, hard to solve a problem that you've identified as something you're going to solve, you can rework them later. Make sure that your question remains novel. Keep it to one page. And then, of course, you will, your uh, officers at your institution will upload those separately. OK, so be sure and revisit them after you've finished you know, with the whole thing. Now we're going to go on to the research strategy. So there are three main components of the research strategy. The first is, of course, significance. That's the reason that what you want to do is so important. The second is innovation. How you want to solve the problem is, is how the way that you want to solve the problem is new or novel or different or unique. And the third is the approach, how you choose to solve the problem, and what is the strategy. So how to use the 12 pages. What I would do is I as I mentioned earlier, is break it down into page counts. So I might spend two to three pages on significance, depending on what you need to review for the re reader. If it's a vast